from pumpkins to people. Artist Mo Auger finds faces in pumpkins all shapes and sizes. In this one here, you know, easily see this big giant smile that would start from here and go right across. And it would have this big, you know, like a goofy grin to it maybe. I do about 20 of these a year and I get calls every, every week. Mo stumbled upon carving by accident when he was an art teacher at a middle school in southern Maine some 25 years ago. Someone donated a pumpkin to me. I was about 600 pounds at the time, and, and they said, if you can come get it, you can carve it. So I had a group of people. We pulled it into the school, and I just that was it for me. He doesn't need any fancy equipment. Simple pottery tools create his magic. He begins by turning the pumpkin upside down, stem facing the floor, cleans the pumpkin out by sawing a hole in the back, and then draws an outline. And the lines only tell me where to carve. So I start by putting a line in there, starting to get the shape of the, of the eyebrow in here. By subtracting bits and pieces of pumpkin, the face slowly emerges. The idea is to see the face within the pumpkin and then to carve everything away except for the face. The pumpkin determines what it is that it's going to be in the end and then I just usually try to find an image that's gonna work within that. So sometimes I use it, I use images that I find online um, or just out of my head and, and say, this needs this kind of a face. This face is from an old picture Mo found of a famous author whose favorite season is probably Halloween. Can you guess? Here's a hint. They call him the king of horror. Stephen King, right, yeah. Yeah, so Stephen, if you're out there, you know, looking at this right now, you know, just, I'm available. I thought this is a really not pretty creepy looking um, image and I thought it would be perfect for a pumpkin. As you can imagine, fall is Mo's busiest time of year. Right up in here, yeah, I think so. This was the biggest pumpkin Mo has ever carved five years ago. It weighed in at 2,066 pounds. So big, his daughter could climb inside of it. Mo definitely needed a little help from family and friends to carve this big bad boy. The pumpkin belonged to Manchester pumpkin grower Steve Geddes. About uh, five years ago, I did a pumpkin for uh, a gentleman uh, named Steve Geddes. And uh, it was 2,066 pounds. And I carved that for him and his family. So that was a lot of fun. Thinking about like where the ear is going to be like in here somewhere. Having never even carved a jack-o'-lantern before, Mo let me help carve this big guy. I have two tools that That's I'm going to use. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we want the we want the face to frown. That's right here. Yep. Use that. Yep. So use to make it. Yep. To turn it the other way. Digging into the pumpkin, I hoped I was doing it right. Go I think I went too far. No. Just remember that this pumpkin is about a thousand dollars, and you have, you know, so you don't make too many mistakes with it. <laughs> now you tell just me just keeping that in mind. Now, okay. Just, yeah. I don't think that's a good frown. No, so take a little bit more in here. Up here. Yep. Like that way. Yep. There you go. Oh, I like this. This is a good part. I think I've created a monster here. So. <laughs> That could be the problem right now. <laughs> so the problem is that she's having too much fun with this it. This is right really now. fun. Scraping and peeling away, little by little, our stern-looking pumpkin came to life. You now you're talking. Now that, that's exactly right. I might have to hire you out. This is fun. I have about 20 of these to do, so. We better get cracking. Yeah. A little brushing to smooth out the texture. Little bits at a time with two hands, as I said before. Yeah, you go. Just feel it. And the final step is when the pumpkin's face literally lights up. Let there be light. Ah, look at you all lit up. 
He's cool. You can see the lines right happening, right? So it's really kind of cool because you can pull this off and then just kind of clean up a little bit. The idea is not to cut through the pumpkin so that the light shines through the pumpkin. You can find mowed a number of places in the fall like Applecrest Orchards or the Damariscotta Pumpkin Fest in Maine, just to name a few. And the perfect pumpkin to carve may not be what you think. I like the ones that are gnarled up. I mean, you know, if they have some really deformities to it, they, it makes me think a little bit more about it and it, it's more challenging. So I kind of like that. I'd, I'd rather go with something that's ugly. Um, and usually they're easier to come by. So the ugly ones, they nobody wants. So, so for me, I can make something what I consider beautiful out of something that's pretty ugly. Mm -hmm.